Minnesota Fighting Vikings defense was ass. Thank you last year. Notably in the run defense game where they allowed 4.5 yards per carry, 22nd in the league, and the Vikings was a more scheme, was a more talent. Who really knows? But the Vikings uh, running it back with a number of names. I uh, certainly think that it was scheme over talent, and Brian Flores with some uh, existing pieces as well, as well as some new pieces could turn things around and get back to we have the meets. Uh, enter Jonathan Bullard, a uh, free agent pickup last offseason, and a- as a guy that was solid along the defensive line last year, playing a mixture of four-tech, five-tech, nose tackle, three-tech, all the techs. His versatility is going to be key uh, going forward, and Brian Flores' defense because he back. That's right. Uh, the Vikings have agreed to terms with defensive lineman Jonathan Bullard, and I, I like Bullard a lot. Where uh, he's 29 years young, six foot three, 290, former Florida Gator. Uh, I liked him coming out of college a lot. I, I like that he was strong at the point of attack. I like that he was good at setting the edge, good against the run. Uh, anything you got from him as a pass rusher was a massive bonus. Uh, he was a 2016 third round pick by the Bears. Didn't quite work out, and then bounced around the league for a hot second. Eventually ended up on the Vikings last year, and he played in 12 games, started seven, uh, recorded 23 tackles, five tackles for loss, five pressures. Overall was relatively solid in what he was specifically asked to do, uh, 63.6 PFF run defense grade. Uh, did miss some time with a bicep injury, uh, didn't need surgery, came back towards the end of the season and finished the year out strong, so uh, big respect there. And Bullard uh, now is added back to the mix of you look at Dean Lowry coming from the Packers. You look at DeSazio, Tom Awo, year two, uh, James Lynch, Ross Blacklock, Kenny Willekes uh, could be hand in the dirt, or he can be a stand-up outside linebacker. Harrison Phillips, who I think would be better as a five tech, and the Vikings just the Vikings just need that 333 pound nose tackle. Like maybe Tonga can be it, or maybe you look into the draft. I don't know. Maybe sign John Jenkins later as a street free agent. I don't know. But, yeah, Bullard, uh, I think, certainly uh, could find a spot in the rotation. And, again, I, I would be shocked if it's anything more than league minimum. I would be shocked if it has anything you know, more than, a, like, a small signing bonus. But uh, either way, he's on the 90 man. He, he gets a chance to compete. And iron will sharpen iron. The Vikings need, need to get back to we have the meets. And Jonathan Bullard uh, in Flores' defense is going to be a big step up. Uh, your thoughts are thoughts. Vikings bring back defensive lineman Jonathan Bullard. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.